All right, this is it. After days of playing this mofo game, it's over. Now I told you to remember one of the previous stage designs because this is the exact same place. Now that's kind of a weird mind fuck because it's obviously in a different geographic location. I don't know, maybe they got the same architect or interior designer to work on it. Complete with all this techno nonsense and drivel. Yeah, they got the same interior designer. There's probably a bunch of plot holes I'm missing out while I'm saying that. So you got the big cheese and the fake ass Volvita cheese. The back of the bus ass cheese. This fake ass zero. This I have a dream ass zero. And that real cheese comes in right now. See, that's why I wanted to beat that side quest so I wouldn't have to face this fake ass zero. Because now I have a real zero. To hold a nigga down. So he says he's going to. Zero just says he's gonna go there to destroy the computer while I'm here to destroy Sigma, my arch nemesis. I always consider that kind of dumb. I mean, I wanna join Zero right now, or at least have him with me to destroy Sigma. Come on, I gotta do this nigga all on my own. And this guy had me fall to my death. Look at that shit. How do I fall into a room without like breaking something? Does the room form as soon as I fall the way down? It's weird as shit. I had to do a little warm up while he blew up to get my muscles ready. That's the one thing I love about this series. The little RPG elements here and there. You don't get to face one form for a final boss. You get to face... You get to face at least two forms. This ain't even my final form. This game has a lot of RPG elements, even though it's a side-scroller. That's why I like it so much. The good thing is weakness is the first stage boss that I beat. So I know he ain't shit.
Like I tried him before without that. He's way difficult as a boss without this. I was having a hard time just using the charge shot. The strike chain thing makes all the difference because you could let the guy hit you. And right now my arms are done. So I have no choice. I gotta let this guy have it. Have him wail on me while I charge up. Do I use the energy tanks and uh, hit him with everything I have? That's it. And that was just a reference to Dr. Wily right there. He's one of our doctor's creations. I know Dr. Wily created Zero, but did he create Sigma too? Or was that the doctor we see on a regular basis in this game? No, that's too homo for me. Did that ass staring at the sunset together? I better be fucking two bitches while doing that shit. I hate those text scroll things. They're trying to be text crawl things. They're trying to be dramatic, but they don't really get the mood right. I like that though, they referenced Dr. Light 2 right there. They actually mentioned him. Was that Dreamy had just a fantasy or could it be a reality of reploids and humans working together? And I hate when they treat the important characters that aren't mentioned or on screen that much. I hate when they don't re mention them at all or they give them the crisp and raw treatment of not acknowledging them. Acknowledge it. It's important to the plot. Alright, well, I'm done with this game. I ain't gotta worry about this bullshit no more. That's great. It's a relaxing closing credits scene. <laughs> This nigga should be writing a pink Ferrari for all I care. And calling up some blonde guy with Duke Nukem hair to chill with him in the beach. <laughs> you already got the sand, the streets, and the nice ass ride. Come on. Some bullshit ass credits. Green. Damn, the beach has dropped really well. That be base is serious. Oh shit.
and you, as Mega Man X, you don't know your power and speed, your potential is unknown. We're not there. You have the potential or some bullshit ass thing like that. So cheesy. But yeah, you gotta love this game. Gotta love the guitar, gotta love the bass, gotta love the whole thing holistically. Anyways, Mr. Walker 7, and thanks for watching my Let's Play. Those of you that did, actually.